graduates, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. While it's important to acknowledge the hard times we've all been through, tonight, however, is about celebrating these amazing graduates as they have earned and deserve an appropriate and joyous send-off. So with that in mind, let's begin the ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce Manoli Barris, president of the class of 2022, to welcome you all here this evening. Throughout those four years, every year we started to look up a little less and become more and more looked up to. Somewhere in those years, we became the people that kids looked up to. Maybe it was because throughout those three previous years, we started to learn from our mistakes. We started to become more mature. But I think the reason we stopped looking up is because we were so focused on what was going on. So focused on the things that teenagers do. You know, taking more challenging courses, getting your driver's license, try not to get ticketed after parking at a better lot junior year. I'll tell you, I did get ticketed, so. So what I'm trying to say is, we're all excited to leave high school, go into the next chapter of our lives, but isn't it starting to feel awfully like middle school? Yeah, you know, I'm excited to leave today. I, I really am, but I'm uncertain of what's going to be going on tomorrow. I don't know what to expect. Some of us are going straight into the workforce, other of us going to the military, and most of us going into a new school with people from across the globe. It's scary. But the point I'm trying to make here isn't that we're going to be nervous all our lives or be scared about entering new stages. The point I'm making is that we really shouldn't be scared because stages are just a part of life. Unique and wonderful opportunities lie ahead. I'd like to leave you with one piece of advice about the time in front of you. It doesn't matter where you go when you leave HHS. What matters is what you do when you get there. Please continue to be the kind and good people everyone says you are. And with every best wish for your next one million minutes, I say to you, congratulations, class of 2022. Do your best to be kind to yourself. Don't live vicariously through the future. Live for today and now and the people around you. Whether this applies to you in school like me or in something else, don't obsess over the superficial things. Don't take yourself too seriously. And even in the things that are fundamentally important for you, don't strive for complete perfection. I found that I was someone who dedicated their whole life to school, someone who felt despondent and unfulfilled. So take it from me. If you have the resources and you are able to, find what makes you happy. In a world that tells you to prioritize money and success and education and power, prioritize your loved ones your hobbies, once again, the little things that bring you joy. Live for right now. Do just enough to get by the way you want to and spend the rest of your time and energy being kind to yourself and the others around you and finding what makes you want to keep going in this overwhelming and sometimes seemingly helpless world. I've started taking the perfect bite first or even, even better, doing everything I can to make sure that every bite is the perfect bite. Although I can't control what any of you take to heart here, I strongly suggest that you do the same. Good luck, class of 2022, and I'm so excited to see what the future brings all of you. My name is Luciano Duca, and I'm honored to have served as treasurer for the class of 2022 for the past two years. Tonight, I'm happy to share with you all the yearbook dedication. This year's dedication goes out to a group of highly intelligent, hardworking, and helpful people who have the patience to help each and every person in the school, our technology staff. Without them, we would not have been able to transition into online learning, and it's because of their wealth of knowledge and nearly infinite supply of chargers that I can stand here and graduate today. We are incredibly lucky to have our technology staff, and even luckier for the hours they put in helping us. Now, I'd like to welcome Anwen Huang to introduce the class gift. Class of 2022 engraved in it. Even though we lost all those gym classes in the years of the pandemic, we can all agree how useful that clock will be for the incoming classes. Our time in those years will not be forgotten, but make our graduation more triumphant than we ever imagined. We shall leave Hopkins and High School content with our legacy and not just our class year ingrained with the clock but our time spent here and all the memories we experienced and shared together. Thank you. I'd like to, I'd like to introduce Sarah Furlong, our Vice President. 
Hello, everybody. Actually, tonight I was really nervous to give this speech, and a couple minutes ago, Manoli told me to picture everybody naked, but uh, I, Mr. Bishop, I really don't want to do that tonight, so... Um, Anyways, moving on. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sarah Furlong, and I'm the class vice president. Tonight, I have the honor of recognizing our class advisors, Ms. Breen, Ms. Hilburner, and Mr. Golden. Four years ago, around this time, Manoli and I walked into the conference room and sat down to interview our class advisors. And if I'm being honest with you guys, we had no clue what class advisors even were. Um, but as, how, however, as soon as Ms. Breen and Ms. Hilburner walked into the room, we knew we'd make a great team. Since then, our advisors have worked tirelessly with us, putting in countless hours of work both in and out of school. Our advisors have guided us with poise and patience and taught us the value of hard work and selflessness. Ms. Breen, Ms. H, and Mr. Golden showed up to every Wednesday morning meeting ready to work. They listened to us and supported our ideas no matter how crazy they might have been. I truly mean it when I say that these three individuals are the best class advisors we could have hoped for. <laughs> On behalf of the class of 22, we thank you all. Ms. Breen and Mr. Golden, please come to the stage and accept your class gifts. This year's recipient doesn't just talk the creative talk, she truly walks the creative walk. She's also insightful, passionate, honest, and among the kindest individuals I've ever known. However, the word that so many of us have used more than any other to describe her is brave. We teacher types invest a great deal of energy trying to develop skills, but as the old expression goes, it's way harder to teach character and guts, and this year's recipient has an abundance of both. Plus, she has a deep appreciation for the greatness of Led Zeppelin's The Rain Song, but that's another story. The recipient of this year's award is both an architect and resident of a place she calls the awesomer world. A place, by the way, we should all probably strive to inhabit. And it's my privilege to present this year's Marion T. Harris Award to Annalise Curl. Right here. Perfect. I challenge you to actually talk about Bruno. Now, some of you may not yet have seen Disney's latest blockbuster, Encanto, or if you have nine-year-olds, you've seen it a thousand times. But one theme of the movie is to confront and have an open discourse about the importance of our mental health. In the years to come, make sure you put as much effort and energy into your mental and emotional health as you do your physical health. You're all going to have good days, bad days, broke days, and paid days. Life is not always going to be easy, nor will it be fair. But through it all, I implore you to ask for help when you need it. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay not to be perfect. And it's okay not to be okay sometimes. There is no shame in leaning on others when you need their support. And remember, we all have our own issues and stuff. Some of us just are better at hiding it. That's all. Now, I know this advice may seem simple and obvious, but as you prepare to hashtag your way through an ever-changing world, know that you won't have all the solutions and answers to the many challenges you will face. However, if you approach these moments with a healthy level of self-awareness and never lose sight of these basic tenets, such as seeing the good in others, taking time for yourself and asking for help, you may not be perfect, but I can assure you, you will be more than okay. Class of 2022, I am so proud of each and every one of you. You're the only group that's ever got me to dance at Boat Cruise. That's how much I like you. Thank you for four great years. It's been an absolute pleasure serving as your principal. I hope nothing but the best for all of you in the future, and promise me you'll always be kind to one another, be positive, and keep smiling. Thank you. As principal of Hopkinton High School, I hereby proclaim that the members of the class of 2022 standing before you have successfully met the requirements of a diploma as set forth by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in this school district. It is my distinct honor to declare them graduated.